been in the Greater Phoenix area for the past 10 years. And we, we've, been, we've been a major sponsor, so uh, we decided to bring it into auction to see how it would evolve and how it would progress. And so far, so good. We've had a, a great response from all the team, from all the coaches, from the parents, from everybody that's come in and invaded Maricopa auction in a sense. So, so far, so good. We've got some great numbers from uh, our enterprises and how uh, we progress. So, it's been a win win situation for both the city of Maricopa and our team. Mr. Green, can you talk to us about the uh, intensity you saw out here today? Well, you know, Navi players in general, as far as the tournament, they've always come with great intensity. It's an intense, fast pack, you know, type of game. Um, they are from side to sideline to sideline, baseline to baseline. And that's what you love to watch. I believe we have a team from Idaho. We actually have three teams from Alaska, and uh, we got a couple of teams from Canada. So a majority of them are from the Southwest, but we have also some teams from the Midwest. So it's a combination of, uh, you know, the whole United States in a sense, because I believe there's some descendants that play with some teams from the Midwest that are from the East, so we have a combination of everybody from around the United States. And have you seen any uh, that fit into the AC Green hardworking uh, player out there? That mold? Um, probably 11 out of the 12 guys, or 10 guys in general, and the ladies at the same time, and so, um, we always find hardworking guys here. You know, the, I think the players themselves, guys or girls, doesn't matter. They come with a, a, a passion for the game. That's what I always like watching in the tournament. Okay. Res ball, very popular here in Octane. Talk to us though about the influences of the Phoenix Suns, uh, the Mercury especially, and the relationship and what it means to you. It is really, really unique in a sense where uh, I believe again this is one of the biggest Native American tournaments in the United States, if not the biggest tournament. And to have uh, professional teams like the Phoenix Suns and the Mercury involved, it, it only enhances uh, the presence and uh, how big this tournament is. I, I believe they're the only two professional teams that sponsor or, or support the Native American tournament, such as. So we're excited, and uh, because of them, uh, it's, they're, it's a combination of having them on board that has made this tournament very, very big. And we talk about res ball. The Golden State Warriors are kind of played res ball in a sense, and they ran, they run, they were running and gunning, just like a number of teams here uh, are showcasing. But we've been doing this for a number of years, and it's an exciting part of basketball when you can have teams just run and run. Of course, if you, uh, if you don't know, Native Americans are synonymous for their running and their just overall speed and whatnot. During so. It's a, it's a great thing to come and see, and again, we're hoping to continue to support Nabby in the next couple of years. We only see it getting bigger and better. And how, how has it been uh, coming to Arizona or out to the community? What, what do you have to say about them and the hospitality? Hospitality is always great. It is. Uh, they love and they, they support the teams as a whole and especially their teams. And, uh, and it's really good to see that because they just want to see good quality basketball being played. And so you respect that. The facilities are awesome. I love staying here. This is a great place to be at.